Hope you're having a great day. This is something brand new for me to do on my channel. Something way different than what I've done before. And I've been thinking about it for a long time. And it's teaching you how to groom your own dog in this uh, time where everything is so expensive. It's uh, nice to be able to do things yourself and not have to pay others. I've been grooming my dogs for probably 40 years. I had a real bad experience uh, with my poodle a long time ago. When she came home, she looked beautiful, but she didn't want to come out, of, out from underneath the bed for two days. So I know that she had been traumatized. And so I went and found a school and I learned how to groom my own dogs. And I've been doing that ever since. And I used to groom other people's dogs. I had a little business, but now I just do my own and um, every three or four weeks. So this is uh, to help you do it yourself. It's not hard if I can do it, anybody can do it. The key is patience. Think of it as a spa day for your dog. You want him or her to have a great experience and to want to come back to the table. And uh, this is Sophia. She loves to get groomed. She's about a little over a year. And uh, she loves to get groomed. She falls asleep on the table. So what you need is a good, sharp pair of scissors, a comb, a grinder for their nails. This is rechargeable. I got mine at uh, Amazon or they're at PetSmart. A little cup of water, so you can just moisten their feet a little bit to uh, get the hair to cling a little bit. A treat, I use a little peanut butter. And for little dogs, this is great. This is what you, you hang them from up here so you can easily access their legs and their nails. And the table that I got was from Amazon. You just have to be sure that it has a bar like this that's adjustable to go up and down. And um, it'll hold my 70 pound dogs, but I usually just use a folding table for them so I don't have to do all the adjustments. It's just easier for me. And, um, and I have a light also, so I have really good light to see their nails. That's important. But most of all, a lot of petting, a lot of sweet talk. This is a good experience. And if you only go for five minutes and then they get uh, worried, then just start up again the next day. But don't, don't force it. I usually put on a movie and I'll watch a movie and, uh, and groom them. So let's, uh, let's start by putting them in this here. Thing. Hey, sweetheart, this is Sophia. Okay, one foot, one foot, like that, like that. And then the back. Step up, good girl, good girl, such a good girl, and the other foot, where's your foot, there it is, okay, and you got these little hooks, and they go right here and this little hook goes in here we'll swing those out of the way those out of the way and she is ready doesn't that make it easy get in your chair yes you're such a good dog you're such a good dog yes I like to start with the feet and the nails first because that's what they hate the most. Everything else, she usually falls asleep, but uh, the feet and the nails, they, they tickle. 
and she's full of burrs right now. We just took a walk around the farm, so we're gonna clean that out too. But I just start by just brushing her out, getting everything nice and smooth. And then once that's done, I go around her feet and I just clip all the hair so that I can see the nails really good. So it's not blocking my view. I trim them and I trim the pads back here, being really careful not to hurt her. And um, I do that on all four legs. And then once I've got everything brushed out really good, I like her in a puppy cut. So I always like her fluffy. I don't shave her down using a, like a number five or number seven blade real short. Um, I can do that, but I like them to look cute. And so I just take my hand and I always hold the hair like this. And then I'll clip, move your head so they can see. And then I'll cut like this. And I go down and I cut like this. I always keep my finger in between the skin and the scissors. Make a straight line all the way down and trim all around the leg. And uh, that makes a real, that gives you about this much length on the, the hair and makes the legs look really nice. And, uh, right? And you enjoy it, don't you? So that's, that's how we start. And I do all four legs like that with the um, grinder. I tried this on my toenails just to see what it felt like. And it doesn't take long before the toenail gets very, very hot. And so when you do the nails, you just want to do it for maybe five seconds and then go to the next nail for five seconds. And then just keep going back and forth until you've got them just where you want them. You Now she's got dark nails, so I can kind of see the quick, but it um, it's a little harder than on white nails. But once I see that the black is on the interior of the nail. I know that that's the quick. I don't want to go any further. So you just go a little bit, little bit, little bit on each nail and then start back again so the nail doesn't get too hot. So lots of times it's not that it's pain from um, going too short. It's pain from heating up the nail and it does get very, very hot very quickly. Okay, here's a close-up of me trimming Sophia's legs. Like I said, I like her to be like a puppy, have it soft and a little bit of length and not uh, cut really short. So I just take my fingers like this. I got everybody in the room here. They're all waiting for their turn. They like when mama gives them their spa day. So we just go down. You're never gonna hurt your pup when you keep your fingers in between the scissors and their skin. Plus it gives it a nice length. Looks more like a little show dog. I can trim them short, but I don't think they're as cute that way. So we go back up to the top. I usually trim her about every three to four weeks. That seems about right for, for all my dogs. Start here again. This um, holder is so nice. 
I made one of these about 40 years ago and hung it from my ceiling when I was doing dog grooming for clients. I just knew I needed to have something that got them off of the, the table. And uh, I had never seen one, I just created one on my sewing machine. And now they make them on Amazon for about $10. But they're super great. Get up here. Like that, Sophia? Mm -hmm. You're being so good. All the way down. So I do that with all four legs. And uh, on the inside, it's a little harder to get your hands in. So I just, I just look in here and I just, um, I just clip, clip, clip very carefully. And uh, I already went around the feet a little bit. And so I'll finish that off, but that's, that's how I do the legs. And then we'll come back in a little bit and uh, I'll show you how I do the, um, her back and her tail and the rest of it. Say bye, Sophia. Bye. Bye. Okay, now I have finished her legs in that uh, technique that I showed you and we're going to continue that with uh, the rest of her body. So I have her out of her sling now. So I combed her hair and now we're going to start once again using our fingers as a guide. If you've ever cut hair, it's very similar. So about one finger length away. like that. It's so easy. She doesn't mind this at all. Right, Sophia? Turn your head. Sophia is a multi-poo. She's a little over a year. And I've had a lot of poodles, toy poodles, and miniatures. She's my first Maltese. And she is the sweetest little girl. But she does run the house. She is in charge of the other three dogs. And uh, she's very smart. Very quick to learn things. She's my heart. She just, when she looks in my eyes, I just, I just melt. On my other videos, I talk about that I went through um, childhood trauma, childhood sex, sexual abuse. And animals have always been a big part of my life. People hurt me, but animals restored me. God used them in a powerful way. And um, I'm very healed now, but animals are still very, very special to me. I have four dogs and uh, two cats. A lot of my animals are rescues. And uh, they bring a lot of joy into my life. So as you can see, this is very, very easy.
I'll do some videos on my other dogs too that are, they have, uh, they require a different kind of a groom. But anyone can do what I'm doing. You can save lots and lots of money by just buying a table and scissors and a comb and a grinder for their nails. And then once a month, you just do a spa day. And you'll, you'll get closer to your animals because they enjoy it. My favorite thing is when my animals fall asleep on the table because I know that they're so relaxed. My Great Pyrenees Honey, she used to fall asleep and uh, I could clean her teeth and I could cut her nails and do her ears and she would just be snoring away. She was so relaxed. Okay, you get the idea. I'm gonna do the rest of her body and then I'll come back when we, when we do the, the head. So we'll, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back. Now we've got the body all done. We got the legs done. And now we're gonna work on her head. And with, with her, I do uh, a poodle cut on the head. And uh, using the same technique as before, She's just laying real nice. She was asleep, but my son just came over and, and she woke up. So I just, I'm using my fingers again to, to create a, a rounded, soft top of the head here. Just around. Oh, you're gonna lay down, you're so tired, huh? Okay, we'll do this side. Right along the ear, I like to cut it kind of short. I was gonna say before that um, a dog can tell if you're stressed. So when you're doing this, you wanna be totally calm because they can, they can tell by your touch if you're stressed. So be mellow. Be mellow for them. Just going around, cutting just a little bit off. It wasn't real long. haven't gotten over here yet, so now she's letting me do this part. If you know of anyone that's gone through um, a traumatic childhood, I recommend my other videos. I've got over 50 of them, and that'll That'll show ways to deal with depression and anxiety and trauma and um, all sorts of things like that. That's, that's what I'm called to do as far as to help people who have been traumatized as I was. But um, God healed me and he can heal you too. You just got to reach out to him. You going to sleep, baby? Hmm? She's 
jag måste sleep. <laughs> jag måste sleep. Okej, okay, welcome back. Okay, we're done with our haircut. Look up here, baby. Look up here. Look up here. You look at him, me. She was a good girl. She slept for a little bit. We got everything done. Um, I went into her ears and there was a few little hairs that were growing out in the very, very center in there and I just yanked those out. I didn't show that. And, um, but basically the whole haircut was just using my fingers and just trimming the face. Everything was the same style. And now I'm going to go trim my husband's hair. I do the same thing. <laughs> so that's, that's how we do doggy haircuts for this kind of dog. And, um, hope you liked it. She was a good girl. So please like and subscribe and comment and uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.